My name is Frankie. Hey, Chuck. I am a retired professor of Norwegian from Augsburg College. Thank, Thank you. you. I swim at the YWCA three to five times a week and also work out on the weights. I didn't start lifting weights until I was in my 50s. The flab on my arms has got me to start lifting weights. I took one look at a photo my son had taken one summer and I went, oh my God, I, you know, it's time to lift weights. Some people do think that you can't get started late and they use that as an excuse. But there was a fellow here at the YW that I met every day that I was here. And he said, see that woman over there? She's 63 and she's built all this muscle in the last three years. And that encouraged me. So I think being here and seeing how many older people are working out, how many people come to the silver sneakers classes, it's really inspiring. My swimming routine is really the result of an accident that I had as a teenager. I was in a car wreck and it resulted in curvature of the spine, scoliosis. So I had surgery in 1963. I was only 16 years old and I've had back problems for 50 years. I swim because it's my lifesaver. I swim because I love it. It's something that keeps me healthy as a result of spinal surgery, it's something I need to do, something I love to do. Working out in water is like working out in the fountain of youth. There's properties of water that are different than on land. We've got constant gravity pushing us down on land, but in the water it's opposite. You've got the buoyancy of the water that, that lifts you up. I swim, but I also meditate in the pool. When I get into the water, I immediately start the meditations and I match my breathing. So the breath and the thought and the motion of the body are all coordinated. The water mantra that I use in Norwegian is just something I came up with. It's livets van, livets on, livets rytme, livets lot, which means the water of life, the spirit of life, the rhythm of life, the sound of life. And it matches the strokes. About 10 years ago, I developed chronic sciatic nerve pain. I had to finally give up swimming. The pain was too intense. Last year I had one more surgery and that opened up the channels for the sciatic nerve so that I don't have that pain anymore. It was completely successful. The reason I nominated Frankie for this award was she kept on going, didn't give up, and the reward, you can just see it on her face. I came back to swimming because it had been my lifeline for all these years. I missed it terribly. My life was out of balance without swimming, and yet I was afraid that it might not be a reality ever again. It took four months for my stroke to increase in strength, and it feels really good that I've made it back. Swimming is the thing that makes me feel that I am still the same person and keeps my, keeps my body and soul together. I really feel that I owe the YW a lot for that.